There is a well-known Sahih Hadith in which the Prophet والسلام, said that you're going to make an alliance with Rum. Is it a Surah to Rum? Rum. And in that Surah we are told at the very first ayah that Rum was defeated. Rum was defeated. Did you hear that? Rum was defeated. But in a few years time, Rum will be victorious. Who is Rum? At the time when the Quran was revealed, who was it who was defeated? Was it a city in Italy, you dum dum? Why don't you do a little bit of research before you come to this foolish conclusion? When the Quran said that Rome was defeated, the Quran was not talking about a city in Italy called Rome. No. The Quran was talking about the Byzantine Christian Empire which had its capital city in Constantinople. Where is Rome today? It's no longer in Constantinople because the Byzantine Empire no longer exists. But the Eastern Christian Orthodox Church and religion still exists. That is Rome. Who it is who now leads that community of Eastern Christian Orthodox believers? The answer is Russia. That's the answer. And so when the Prophet said alayhi salatu was salam that you will make an alliance with Rum, he was certainly not talking about a Yankee alliance. Someone should tell that to the Pakistan armed forces. He was not talking about an alliance with Britain or with France or with Germany or with Israel. <laughs> When he spoke about an alliance with Rome, he was referring to an alliance with the Eastern Christian Orthodox Church. And therefore to those who now rule over that community, which is Russia. Russia. And so a Muslim alliance with Russia is anticipated by the Prophet and it will come and you have an alliance with Russia as prophesied in the Hadith then the Russian Navy can enter into the Mediterranean the Russian submarines can enter into the Mediterranean from the Black Sea and then and then the contest with Israel will become a more even-handed contest once you have nuclear armed submarines in the Mediterranean. According to the uh, the Russian journalist I talked to in Damascus, she said that these these ships had come from Murmansk. So she said there were there were three or four nuclear submarines that were known and maybe more and I think also an anti-submarine warfare ship. Uh, so this I think highly significant and I think the, the big thing uh, that's that's hanging over all this is the tremendous hysterical Dr. Goebbels style Western media blackout that this Russian fleet is there. There are even other reports that they're unloading these S-300 advanced surface-to-air missiles, the kind of thing that, that Gaddafi wanted, didn't get in time, the kind that, that Iran has asked for, and they still haven't gotten them, at least in the numbers they wanted, as far as we know. Anyway, uh, that these are now being delivered to Syria. So this means that there's a whole new dimension of Russian support for Syria. Uh, two weeks ago, this past weekend, we also had the visit 
of the Russian Orthodox Patriarch, uh, Kirill Cyril. So he's Patriarch Cyril of the Russian Orthodox Church, the top religious authority of the Russian Federation, at least of the Christians, and he came there to Damascus uh, to meet with the Grand Mufti uh, of Damascus, who was a very interesting figure uh, in his own right. I recommend you, you look him up. 